Good afternoon, Sunday afternoon. Um, and today we're going to be doing our first impressions of Esoterica's and so to bed. I'm going to be smoking it in my Phil Rivara Calabash. Beautiful pipe, nice uh, Cumberland stem on there, and um, his uh, signature metalwork. Um, it's a great pipe, this. I usually smoke Penzance in this, to be honest. Um, but. Um, I figured it would be a nice pipe to really have a nice leisurely smoke on a Sunday afternoon. I thought it was very fitting. Um, I put a little, a half a pipe cleaner in there, and that prevents any gurgle. I've mentioned that before on my channel, but it's, uh, if you have a calabash or any means of putting uh, a bit of a pipe cleaner in there, it completely changes the smoke. There's zero gurgle. So if that works for you, great. Beautiful grain on this pipe. Lovely piece of briar. And the workmanship on this top bit is just fantastic. It's a great pipe. Anyway, so Esoterica's and so to bed. Um, this is um, from uh, the current uh, uh, batch that was released by uh, Jermaine's this year. So it's 2017. When it was made, I have no idea. But Jermaine's have got a way of somehow making their blends really very steeped in their juices and very give a, an, a, an impression of significant age even on a, on a new batch you can just look at look at the staining on the pa on the paper there um, and that kind of gives some indication as to um, it's been sitting for a while so it's a I suppose you'd call that a ribbon cut um, I'll just read you what it says in the tin Put on your smoking jacket, pour a glass of vintage port, let your golden retriever settle at your feet and enjoy the superlative mixture while you chronicle the day's events in your diary. Now, um, I'm out in the garage, so I don't have the information with me, but I seem to remember that this has uh, Virginia's, Latakia, Syrian Latakia, um, Oriental, um, and there's one other component which I cannot remember. Um, but it's certainly the... Um, Virginia's and the Latakia, which are the front runners, and the Orientals, which are giving it that. I can already get the aroma coming through straight away of the sour kind of aroma coming through. Now, the tin note, the first time I opened it, because I opened it to let some dry, there's a little, quite a, a little bit of moisture in there. It's been out for over half an hour and it's still a little bit moist, but it should be okay. Um, I got the whiff straight away and it was so familiar. I just couldn't put my finger on it. And eventually I realized what it was and it smells exactly like Jermaine's um, Royal Jersey original Latakia mixture. This is um, from the end of 2016 and it's got a little bit darker. Um, it's been sitting in the jar for a bit, um, but the aroma is exactly the same. Now. I did a bit of research, as I've mentioned many times before, um, with um, Penzance and uh, Rich Dark Flake um, and uh, Stonehaven. Um, when I spoke to um, Robert Germain, I phoned him up and um, he told me that there's quite a few of the blends made by Germain, either licensed and called Esoterica, um, and some other, there are some others, like for instance, uh, Balkan Sobrani is also made by Germain. Um, so he told me that uh, Rich Dark Flake and Stonehaven are pretty much the same thing. There's a very slight variation purely because of licensing um, that they can't produce exactly the same product here in the UK as they do under the Esoterica name. So there's a very slight variation between Rich Dark Flake and Stonehaven, but to all intents and purposes, they're the same product. For me, this is what's happened here as well. I mean, if I get a chance, I'll try and call them again and ask them if they can confirm that. If, if um, Royal Jersey original Latakia mixture is the same and as and so to bed. Um, it smells exactly the same. Um, the Royal Jersey for me, um, when I first tried it, it was very, very nice because it's really got a sweet pungency, a uh, sweet sour note coming through, which is really, really pungent. Um, and if you like that kind of Balkan um, kind of flavors um, and you want the Orientals um, to really pop through, um, they're um, and the Syrian Latakia, um, that, that's a, a fantastic uh, blend for that. It was a little bit too heavy for me. 
um, in terms of a regular smoke. Um, I do enjoy it from time to time. Oddly, I don't know why, but with um, Royal Jersey original Latakia mixture, I used to get heartburn when I smoked it. And I've not had that with any other blend, whether it be Balkan, Aromatic, Virginia, no difference. This was the only blend that whenever I smoked it, I got heartburn. So we'll see what happens on this one. Um, to me, it really, the aroma is exactly the same. It'll be interesting to see if the smoke is the same. Um, the the flavours for me were really rich, sweet, smoky, and almost a, like a yeasty kind of sourness in there. Um, approaching a flavour of sour milk almost, like a creamy, like a sour cream. So let's see how we go. I think it's the, actually the first time I'm smoking anything other than uh, Penzance in this. So we'll do just a touch over half a bowl. Just by the way, um, when I smoke, when I load a bowl, um, I load it to just around the halfway mark, maybe a touch over. Um, I find that when I smoke a bowl, um, and perhaps I'm not like some of the old timers who, who smoke a pipe all day, but um, I find that when I get to just over the halfway mark on any bowl, um, you start to get an ashy flavour, regardless of... It's occasionally on a really high quality blend, you'll get a good flavour throughout, but on, on more, more often than not, I find that when you get towards the, the, the latter part of the bowl, you start to get a bit of an ashy, smoky kind of um, flavour coming through and it's kind of affecting the overall flavour. So what I've done already for quite a long time now is I'll usually load around just over half a bowl and um, if I want to smoke it again I'll just reload um, in another pipe or even sometimes in the same pipe although generally speaking it's not advisable to do so. Um, so I'll load it in another bowl um, but um, I just prefer not to get that uh, not to get that ashy flavour at the end. So anyway, we'll see how this one goes. The interesting thing, as I said before, with the Germains and Esoterica stuff is that um, and this may very well be the reason why their stuff is so um, occasionally produced is um, because they really take care to age their tobacco um, and I suppose you could argue that they could age more of the same but um, I'm just getting this for let's see if I can Well, so far, on the first few draws, it's um, possibly not as pungent as the uh, Royal Jersey. Having said that, it's been a while since I've had Royal Jersey. What I'm getting at the moment is a more milder, sweet um, Latakia coming through, a bit of a, a, a hay flavour, a grassy flavour from the Virginias. It really does seem to be milder than um, the RJ. Um, it's very possible that because it's a new batch that it hasn't uh, enriched. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how this ages. I am getting that rich sort of um, sour, sweet sour flavour more on the finish, on my tongue afterwards. Uh, 
Um, I'm really enjoying this. It's, it's really very nice. Um, it's a little bit lean. But for me, when I compare it to the Royal Jersey, um, for me, that's a good thing. I found the RJ to be too, too pungent, and too sweet and too sickly. Well, sickly is a bit of a strong word, but it was too much for me. What I might need to do is have another bottle of that soon and uh, make a comparison. It's possible that that's mellowed out as well uh, over time. Um, could have run in the, other, in the other direction rather than getting richer and might have mellowed out. Which is what you'd usually expect, actually. Um, sorry for the gaps. Um, I'd just um, rather do this in one take. Um, so I'm not going to smoke through the whole bowl, but I'm just going to give you, as the title suggests, a first impressions. Well, for me, and as it's obviously early days, but for me, this is an altogether better, harmonious, more balanced blend than the Royal Jersey. I find, the, as I've keep saying, the Royal Jersey I find too rich. Too much of that sourness. And that's kind of what was uh, reminiscent of sour milk. And I think it's very possible a subliminal... Um, event was happening where I was thinking about sour milk and that's what gave me the heartburn. It's very possible. Subliminal contribution to our physical is a real thing. Okay, so there we have it. I'm going to leave it here as a first impressions. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the bowl. I've kept you long enough with lots of empty spaces, so I don't want to do that for much longer. Um, very, very nice. Um, definitely more harmonious. There is a little bit of a, a bitter edge to it um, coming through from the latter here. Um, I would say it's, it's a, a different kind of sensation and um, experience than Penzance. I'm not talking about the flavor profile here, they are different. But in terms of the uh, uh, the sensation, if you like, of the Latakia, I've mentioned this before about m the, the varying um, types of Latakia to my palate. So there are some Latakias which are um, very campfirey, really got a quite harsh um, campfire kind of flavor to it. And there are some which have a very smooth, sweet, um, edge to it. Obviously, depending on the blend together with the Orientals and and uh, sometimes mixed with Turkish, and depending on what it's blended with, obviously it's going to have an effect on the overall flavor. But if you take, for instance, a blend like, um, uh, let me think, I can't think of the name now, it's by GLPs. Um, but it's it's basically a, a very a gaslight, I think it's the one. I think it's gaslight I was thinking of. Um, a very nice, also it's got plenty of sweetness in there, but it's got quite a campfirey smell, uh, taste, um, the Latakia. As opposed to, say, if I look at the other extreme, McClellan's Balkan Blue, or uh, Blue Mountain, as it was called, um, for me that's an extremely smooth, sweet Latakia blend. Um, which I smoked a hell of a lot of um, last year. Um, I haven't really got back into it this year. Um, I might have to give that a go. But Balkan Blue, a very smooth, cool smoke, a Latakia smoke, without any of that harshness of a campfire kind of flavor. Here, when I compare this to Penzance, Penzance for me is a really nice, sweet and sour, very well-balanced um, Virginia Ford Balkan, Balkan blend. 
um, but the Latakia in that is sublime. The way it's blended together with um, the, uh, the rest of the blend and it really brings out the sweetness in a very smooth way, that's sublime. Um, this one, the Royal Jersey, I do find has it's leaning towards that campfire flavor. It's not really harsh, it's not all the way over there, but it's more leaning towards that. But it is brought back by the Orientals and the sweetness in the Virginia and so on. And that um, sweet sour flavor that's going on does bring it back and it, and it harmonizes it. Um, and as I said, I found it certainly more harmonious and better balanced than the Royal Jersey. But it's still definitely more campfirey and more over in that direction than, uh, say, Penzance or Balkan Blue, that kind of thing. Smokes to a nice white ash there. Not a single bit of gurgle. La Gloria Cubana. Um, I don't remember who gave me this tamper. Really cool. Very nicely done. I don't think it was one of uh, Rick, Rick Ruff's. I might have got that from um, Briarblade from Ladon. Ladon, if you're watching this, I hope you're recovering well. I'm glad to see that you uh, made another video. And um, I wish you a speedy recovery. Okay, so that's uh, my first impressions of this and so to bed. Um, just to summarize it and to cap things off, um, a slightly campfirey Latakia blend, um, sort of blended together with the uh, Syrian Latakia, um, Virginia's Orientals, and something else. <laughs> I can't remember what it is. Um, I don't think it's Cavendish. Um, it may well be t uh, be Turkish, I don't know. Um, I just do not remember. But a very nice, um, it's, it's uh, as I said, better balanced than the Royal Jersey for my palate. Um, it's very possible that it's an age difference and that they are really the same thing. I'll try and find out a bit more about that. Um, but um, for me, it gets a thumbs up. Um, I think I would smoke this more often than the Royal Jersey. Certainly based on this particular tin's flavours. Before I smoked it, I kind of thought to myself, if it ends up being the same as Royal Jersey, I'm going to end up trading this tin. But I think I will keep it. Um, in terms of, um, I haven't really mentioned this, but in terms of the fullness of the flavour, because I tend to talk about fullness and strength when I'm talking about cigars, um, but in this one, I would say that the f the, the the body of the of the flavours here is a little bit less than the Royal Jersey. Um, it's a little bit leaner than the Royal Jersey. It does um, it has increased already. I'm, I suppose I'm about a third of the way down now. We've been going for nearly twenty minutes. And as you go down, the, the, the sort of sweet sour flavors subside a little bit um, and you are getting the Virginia flavors um, together with the Latakia, the campfire Latakia. So it's a little bit more on the campfire side now, more than when it started. Um, so it does starting to move over away from sweetness a little bit and, and sort of staying over on the, not, not, not bitter side, but campfire side. I feel I should have uh, really done this in a few takes and, and edited it together because the flavors are changing a little bit as, I, as, I'm, as I'm smoking it, literally as I'm talking to you now. So we have to leave it as a first impression. A very, very nice smoke. It definitely starts off with a, a fuller body um, in terms of the, the first bit of the bowl and then as you go down, it starts to really become a two horse race, which is the um, Syrian Latakia and the Virginias. Um, the Orientals are definitely in there. They definitely have an effect on the overall flavor. You're still getting that uh, sweet sour flavor coming through, but it, not as much. And it's really the two front runners are the Virginia and the Syrian Latakia. Very, very nice indeed. 
um, definitely recommended if you're uh, um, into this slightly edgier side of, of uh, la the Latakia flavor profile, um, but you want something a little bit less punchy than, say, Gaslight, then this is a really nice alternative. Um, your only challenge, really, as ever, with Esoterica is finding it. So I wish you luck with that. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry it took so long. Catch you on the next one.